There are some things that only black people need to worry about and some things that white people get to pass on. And we call that white privilege. Let's go. Hey, I'm B. Maurice. And before I get started with this video, I would love for you to subscribe. Hit that like, give me a thumbs up, and hit that bell so you always get my notifications when I post something new. Let's get into this video. So recently I was working on a documentary with this company. They sent me out to Wisconsin and it was great. For the first 10 days, first 11 days, great time, enjoyed myself. Then on the 10th day, they sent us to what is nothing but a bunch of red counties. Now I say that because truth be told, that's what it was. And in those red counties, I went to a gas station. And while I was at the gas station, what ended up happening was um, I went to get some gas. The lady kind of had my mask on, didn't understand it. And she said, stupid nigga wearing a mask. And so at that moment in time, I realized that I might need to get up out of here before it's too late. And one of the things that, you know, my counterparts who were white uh, don't have to worry about many times is that what's sometimes referred to as a sundown town. And this is places where black folks need to be gone before the sun goes down or they might not make it back home. And, you know, this is something that me and my wife, we've talked about a few times because in my wife's mind, uh, you know, we saw me drive down to Florida one time I said, and then we could stop in Atlanta or Memphis. And she was like, why we just don't drive straight through that? I said, because I can't be, we can't be uh, driving through the South at all parts of the night because we don't know who might stop us, who might see us and what might happen. And it really just took me along the lines of thinking, you know, like that's one of the things about being black is that when you're white, you're free to travel amongst the US and you go wherever you want to go and you don't have to worry about that, really. When you're black, yeah, you have to worry about where you're going, how you're going to get there. Well, when I was on the dock, there were many times where I would look at a place, I would look at the demographics, and then realize that there wasn't that many black people around, and this was a red county that really heavily voted for Trump. And we'll talk about that a little later on. Uh, that I needed to find the next urban area that I could get to quickly because some of these people are like five hours from Milwaukee and four hours from Madison. And so, you know, you gotta find places in between there to get to. Um, and that was something that really bothered me because for instance, you know, I was thinking about it like, man, you ought to have to worry about that. It's not that place on a black person's mind because they have to be aware of where they're at all the time, who they're around, and even have to play the game sometimes of being polite and correct. And so when you apply to correct, it doesn't work out for you well. And the reason why it's important to talk about the Trump one, because to be honest with you, Trump spews a lot of racist talk. Um, I think that when you talk about what Trump does a lot of times, he's actually really feeding into a bunch of racist ideology when he speaks. And that gets people involved and gets people feeling like, yeah, forget them, forget that. And I don't want to feel that way. I'm sure most black people don't want to feel that way, but it does hit you. It does make you think like, I, I gotta be careful where I am and things like that. When you're in a neighborhood and you're in the hood or you're in like a place like Chicago, uh, Detroit, Milwaukee, New York, um, you don't have to worry about things like that. But when you step outside of your, um, your place, yeah, it's, you gotta worry. Uh, and there's been many times I've had to worry about <laughs> where I am and who I'm around and what's going on there and here and there. And so this is one of those things. Um, yeah, so I just think that's one of the ideas of white privilege I don't think people really can think about. And it's scary. It really is scary because you can't afford to mess up. And you know, it's not like everyone, people got getting lynched every day or racist crime happen every day, or at least that, not that we know of. But you just don't want to be that one where it does happen to you. Right? All right, y'all. Well, I'm B. Maurice. This is my thought process on white privilege. If you have any questions or any thoughts, leave a comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that like. I got some cool things coming up. And uh, God bless.
That was the best, man. Forget it.